Hi guys, this video is brought to you by Outtalk.co.uk for your post, pre-match and Sheffield Wednesday discussions with fellow Wednesdayites. Hi guys and welcome to this video. So, Barry Bannon has come out and said it is on us as the players, not the manager. Get off the manager back. It is our fault, not the manager. And it's good to see that the players are now getting behind Gary Monk and saying, look, this is our fault. It's not the manager. The manager don't go out there and play. He just gives us uh, his tactics and what to do. We're not doing it. That's on us. Um, as Barry Bannon said, he had played for some a lot of managers, uh, some good, some not so good. And he said, this is a very good manager and we need to back him. Us as players, we need to get behind him. Fans need to get behind him. We need to start being held responsible and accountable for the performances. This is really nice to see because it's it's showing me that the players are actually knowing that the manager getting heat now and knowing that it, this isn't fair. Barry Bannon, as a senior player, has come out and said, this needs to stop. We need to, it's on us. And seeing a player and from the team come out and say this is on us is very nice to see now I know some people are going to say all oh, the screams of uh, players being told what to say or whatever I don't see that I see a player who's actually turning around and said we're not performing this is on us this is our fault uh, at the end of the day the manager can only do so much uh, getting us ready for the game day, when it comes to game day, it's on us as players and we're not performing to the abilities that we know we can do. And I actually really like this from Bannon, Barry Bannon. It shows me that there's still that togetherness in that dressing room. The one thing that was nice about the Birmingham game was that we showed a lot of fight and spirit and something we haven't seen from the team in a while, in a very, very long time. Now, I'm hoping this isn't just because it was against Birmingham and he wanted to do one over on Birmingham, but... The way they got their goal at the very end was sucker punching. And it we it showed to me that the players are still behind Monk. And that, that's important. This means that on a, all these rumours about he's lost the dressing room or anything like that. They're still going to go out there with however the performance are. They're still going to turn around and say, oh, he's lost the dressing room. Even if a player comes out and say it, because they'll turn around and say, oh, he's been told to say that, or this is a sign of a manager losing the dressing room when they start saying things like this. But let's be fair, Monk's not been in, Monk been in charge, what, six months now, maybe seven months? If we sacked him after this, it would be very naive and a little bit stupid as us to do that to a manager that's not really had a chance to do anything, no pre-season. Let's be honest with you, where we are at the minute, at the start of the season, did we think we would have been third at Christmas? No. Did we think we would have been where we are now? I don't think we would have done, considering what happened when the season started for us. And I'm going to keep going on about it. People have said, oh, you know, we need to keep bringing it up. But at the start of the season, we were managerless and... No one knew what was going to happen, and we had the situation where I think a lot of players at that point, uh, players and fans, thought, right, that's it. Uh, we're not going to have a good season. Well, fans did. I think players just got on with it. So, I like this statement from Barry Bannon. It showed that he's not lost the dressing room, and it showed me that there's still players willing to dig in and fight for the club. They just need to show it more, and it's Barry Bannon saying, it's on us, not the manager. And I like this. I like this a lot. Accountability is key. Don't forget to have your say at outtalk.co.uk after the match.